Project 2025 now wants to come after your overtime pay. They're calling for allowing employers to eviscerate the already you know scant protections and regulations that you have to make sure that you are not abused by requirements for overtime to make sure that you are properly compensated for the extra work that you do. They want to fundamentally change that and here's how. One proposal is to allow workers to take vacation instead of getting the time and a half compensation, which doesn't necessarily sound that bad at first, although many people I think would prefer to have the money when they're struggling, but it's not even what it seems to be. At least 40% of lower and middle income workers already don't use their allotted paid time off. So what's the point of giving them a few more days? And there are reasons that they don't use it. It's because in practice, they cannot. Okay, under this proposal, employers could coerce workers into voluntarily selecting vacation that they're either formally or informally prohibited from taking. They might understand full well if they take that vacation that they're allotted, that they will lose their job, they'll lose opportunities, that will be it. And what do you know? You didn't have to pay them, they don't get the other benefit. Oops, you got nothing for the extra work that you did and the toil that you went through. The video will continue in just a moment, but first I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com team and become a member today. Project 2025 further recommends that workers and bosses agree to extend the overtime threshold from one week to a period of two weeks or one month. The likely outcome would be management overloading busy weeks with extra long shifts and taking advantage of slow periods through under scheduling, effectively eliminating overtime altogether. Relatedly, another attack on overtime comes in the form of allowing workers to negotiate away time and a half pay in exchange for non-compensation benefits like predictable scheduling. In effect, this incentivizes predatory scheduling to coerce workers to give up overtime. So instead of getting pay, you can be treated with respect, which encourages them to treat you with disrespect so that you'll give up the pay, so that you'll go back to the status quo that you already had. And the section of Project 2025 that we've been talking about was written by Jonathan Barry, who led the Labor Department's regulatory office under Donald Trump the first time. And he could very well be back in to implement this the second time. And we could go into more details and we probably will, but I honestly don't understand. If you were a supporter of Donald Trump, if you're a supporter of the right, if you like Project 2025 because you heard a rant by Steve Bannon about it, how does it not bother you that they're trying to screw you over to make you work longer hours for less pay, I am asking you, no, I am begging you at this late date, have an ounce of self-respect, of, of an understanding of your own self-worth. They don't value you even as cogs in a machine. You should demand more from the people who purport to lead you. What do you think? Yeah, and folks like Ken Cuccinelli, um, who are you know on the think tank for this whole nastiness, they're not gonna live by those rules. I'd like to see their contracts, okay? Mm -hmm. They're gonna actually get paid money for hours they didn't work. So, you know, I don't know why people continue to support things that are not in their best interest and, in fact, can harm them in ways that are, I really think, life threatening at this point. You know, we talked about how they, they don't want you to have rights if you're injured on the job, and now they don't even wanna pay you. They actually want you to work and probably not pay you. So it's built in, as you said. No respect. 100%. Uh, by the way, when you ask Republicans, these are non MAGA Republicans, uh, would it hurt if employers were allowed to stop paying hourly workers overtime? 71% say that it would hurt a lot. 14% say it would hurt a little. 6% say that it would help. I assume those people own businesses, I suppose, yeah. and don't want to pay overtime. <laughs> so even amongst Republicans, there's virtually no one that thinks that this is a good idea. Okay, but they're gonna do it to you, okay? They get you to elect them by saying like, "Oh, look at that trans wrestler or whatever, and then they strip away your pay. That is what they're doing to you. I, it should bother you. I don't understand why it doesn't bother you. Like, I know I'm a lib or whatever, and I mock the right. I show infinitely more respect to the hard work that regular conservatives do on a daily basis. When I say that they should be compensated for that work, then these a these rich elitist a holes are showing when they plan ahead of time. They're publicizing 
that they want to screw you over and take away. They think it's a good thing. They're running on this. It's not something that we got a leaked text message or something. They think this is awesome. Do you? Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.